Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love, and welcome back to my channel. I guess I'm going to title this video Living in a House with Non-Vegan Folks. So you all know that I made the vegan mac and cheese and the dressing, right. So, Tin and Terrell liked it, but they're not vegan. Um, we all went out somewhere uh, for Thanksgiving. However, I am here stuck making, only though I said that I would redo the mac and cheese for them. I can't eat any of it. So I'm doing mac and cheese and I'm doing sweet potato pies for them. I'm not doing no dressing, because the dressing, it was fine. It just didn't have the meat, you know. Jeez, this is Kobe Jack, shark cheddar, and I think it's extra shark cheddar. I didn't get Monterey Jack um, this time. Um, and um, Velveeta, mm-hmm. And uh, got, I'm gonna use some evaporated milk, and I'm gonna make them up some quick macaroni and cheese. Right now, over in this pot, I have some sweet potatoes that I am putting together, and you all stay tuned, because these are hot. Okay, I'm mashing them up, the sweet potatoes. And uh, getting them all a little, you know, a little soft. Not soft, but I'm getting them mashable. So next I'm going to add my stick of butter. Now you all, guess what? This is plant-based butter, but it tastes like regular butter. Cause the kids said they wanted, you know, sweet potato pie and I want some too. So I did have plant-based butter and I do have uh, not a dairy-free uh, sweetened condensed coconut milk. That's what we're putting over in here, and I bet you it's still gonna taste good. You know, my butter, my butter all tastes good. I is so tempted to go ahead and add some aguave, but since I'm making this for them, I'm not going to do that, you know what I mean? And I am going to uh, stick to what I uh, say. I'm going in with my half a cup of sugar. Hold on, what's going on here? Okay. Next, we're gonna put one cup of brown sugar. One cup of brown sugar. Sugar. My best friend was like, you wanna know a way to make your pies real fluffy? She said, add six eggs. And I ain't gonna knock her, cause uh, that woman know how to cook. So there's our one cup of brown sugar going over in. Brown sugar. We're adding one teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of nutmeg. Then we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Well, I was a little bit more than that, but you know. <laughs> we'll go ahead and mix that. One, 
to add, these are small eggs. I might take her up on it. Each egg, I'm gonna add, um, there's an egg rolling around there somewhere, Tina. Mm -hmm. And I need that egg. Go ahead and just lay again. Calls for one can of condensed uh, sweet. Uh, I got coconut milk. This is different now. This is a different texture other than what I'm used to. Yeah, I know. Because it's that coconut. It's got that coconut. That coconut. It's got that coconut. That coconut. It's got that coconut. That coconut. We're gonna see how it tastes with the coconut. Yeah, yes, yes, hunty. <laughs> uh, I'm done adding. I'm done adding my ingredients. My ingredients. We're gonna see how this uh, whips up. I'm going to be placing these in the pie shelves. Preheat oven on 350. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fill up the pie crust. I got four pies. I don't, I, I think I'm gonna need a two more. I'm gonna fill them up pretty good. These are deep dishes. I don't know, maybe straight. Ooh, baby. Can you have this part since you uh, I'm getting some of this pie. Ah, ah, ah. I think I may be straight, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. Uh, 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 wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. Remember that other one over here. I got four. I made exactly four pies. Because if you don't have enough, I can always eat the sad on the egg. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, take taking shake this level one back it off. Yeah, level. Level, 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 level it out. Level it out. Level it out. Level it out. Look and see how they look. They so pretty. Look at that. This one over here needs a little love. Here, come here, baby. You look a little, look a little hungry. Just a little bit. I'm scraping all of it. Oh, girl. Give something you know. Here, go taste it with your finger and see. A little lick. A little lick. Mmm, 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 mmm. Uh, mm. what? What? The crust? Mm. I mean, uh, uh-huh. Yes, I could just eat it without it being cooked. Mm. All right, so this how I like yams. I like when people make their yams. You putting like these it. in the oven, you all? All right, so on the stove is a, a stick of butter in here. A half of uh, Velveeta here. And I like to, I don't want that popping. I just don't get one to pop, but that's the bottom of it. I'm pouring in my, I'm using evaporated milk. I'm pouring in two cans of that, you all. So I like to make my sauce up. Pop. I'm pouring in that with a stick of butter. So it was two cans of evaporated milk, one stick of butter, a half of Velveeta cheese. And I don't want to be stingy with it. I almost want to use that other half. Would you mind as well? Yeah, no. I'm gonna use the other. I, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead. Let me see. We're gonna bring this to a melt. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I should have put this in the processor. Matter of fact, stay tuned. Okay, you all, there's my cheese sauce. Um, over here, I got my noodles. Now, let me tell you about these noodles. Oh, by the way, I sprinkled already just pink Himalayan salt. That's it. That, that's all they, they need. And I really didn't put that much because pink Himalayan salt is uh, really salty. But anyway, these noodles. So when I went to Kroger's today, I, I grabbed one box, one 
I'll take a pound. I, I, I grabbed a pound of uh, macaroni. And I felt like that's enough. You know what I'm saying? This Tina Terrell, you know, I can't have none. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's probably the size that this pan is in because it's like grabbed a pan at the last minute at uh, Kroger's as well. And um, it looked like it wasn't enough noodles. So I added my chickpea bonza noodles to this, which you're not going to be able really to tell the difference. It's just the fact that I'm using my vegan food with this regular food. Now I got to replace my, my vegan pastas back. But. Uh, so that's why they kind of like looking like that because I poured, uh, what, why the macaroni noodles was, uh, probably done. I poured the, uh, bonds and noodles over into that same, um, pot. And so they're swollen, which is fine because it's all going down one way, right? But it's still, it's still good. Anyway, so over here, I'm going to dip this cup, my measuring cup, pour it over this sauce, pour the sauce over this mac and mac and cheesy cheese okay so i'm gonna do what i'm doing it because you know my little helper went up the stairs and she said she'd be back but you know i'm pouring my sauce over it y'all don't need that much sauce anyway i could put this sauce over in a tupperware bowl because it's like i said this is not that many noodles but uh as long as i've been making macaroni and cheese you all i've always said don't be stingy with the cheese that's why it's called cheesy mac and cheesy cheesy okay and now that i hear her coming back i'm gonna stir this around see it's not that many noodles see not that many noodles and uh this is probably gonna be gone <laughs> i just figured you know they really don't need all that stuff but i i felt bad you know come stand over here and take this over I felt bad because I said, you know, all right, y'all, I, I ain't going to do y'all like that. So I'm going to, you know, make y'all, y'all mac and cheese. It. Okay. And, uh, I kind of like the way that is, but, um, I'm going to pour just a little more. That's it. Yeah. Because I, I still got shredded cheese over there. So now that she had the camera, I just went on ahead and poured all the cheese sauce in the pot over in here. And I already got my pink Himalayan salt. That's it. I'm going in now, y'all, with my Kobe Jack shredded. I shredded this myself, y'all. This is bar cheese. This is not the regular shredded cheese. Because the bar cheese, I mean the shredded cheese got that, like I said, that coating over it to make it stay um, in that shape. But this is the real cheese right here. Okay, it's the real cheese right here that I shredded myself. And I felt like, you know, I ain't put it on camera because I just feel like, we were going to dump that over in there. I'm trying to be pretty with it. Ah! All right. And so that's that cheese. And so they ain't going to have to really, we want that cheese to really melt. In there, it ain't gonna have to really be in there that long. That's why most people take and fill their pan up with milk, and you'll see milk around the sides. And I don't do all of that. Um, that's the reason why the milk is already like mixed up in the sauce or whatever. It's not gonna take long for that to melt down in that. Um, I want all this cheese. Hold on, see that? Ah, give me all of it. My mouth is watering, y'all. <laughs> I can't have none. <laughs> It's okay. And this will be going in the oven. What? What's my favorite time? 45 minutes. Okay, so here's the macaroni and cheese on the stove. It's finished, looking good. Mouth watering, can't have none. But here's my sweet potato pies, all finished. Sorrel? Sorrel? Yeah. I can't wait to slice it. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. But uh, <laughs> I'm getting me some of them. I'm getting some pie, okay. I'm, I, I'm, I, I gotta, you know, get a piece of sweet potato pie. If I don't do nothing else, I know I can't have no, uh, you know, no macaroni and cheese, even though it's got vegan butter in it. <laughs> but no excuse. I, maybe I should pick out my bonza noodles. No, that ain't gonna work either because it still got the cheese in it. But I'm gonna have some of that because uh, the sweet potato has got brown sugar and it's got. Uh, white sugar in it and but I do have vegan butter. I'm sorry y'all the camera cut off um What I was saying was you know the condensed uh, 
uh, coconut was vegan and the uh, everything in there vegan except that sugar. So, but I'm, I'm tasting that pie. I'm sorry, I'm getting a piece of that pie. I can't touch that mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is so good, but I don't know. The kids, y'all, I don't know. Maybe one of them, you know, cut into it, you know. But look at y'all. I'm about to make Tina a plate. I mean, uh, put some on her plate. Well, look, 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 look. I'm going to get down. Look, look, listen. Why am I torturing myself like this? Oh, slow motion. Why? Why? Why am I torturing myself? Oh, my, my, my. Mm, mm, mm. It's the cheese for me. Y'all, I'm finna get a uh, spoon. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, you all, here's my pie. Yeah, it's been about 30 minutes, it cooled off. Just gonna taste it. Hadn't had sugar in a minute, so I hope it don't get me sick. But, you know, I just found out yesterday, I love doing this, y'all, just because I know y'all wait, you know, but I found out yesterday that cream of celery had dairy in it. And let me tell y'all something. I haven't had that in my system for two months now. And that's where the heartburn come from. I'm like, why has I got heartburn? Yeah. Potato. Mmm. This sweet potato pie is good. I used to have people make me sweet potato pies because I was too lazy to learn how to do it. I thought it was too much work to it, you know? But this is not Queen's recipe. However, this is a recipe that's off of YouTube and it's called cooking soul food or something like that. Uh. Mm. And I followed that recipe. Mm. I'm so glad I did. Anyway. It's the sweet potatoes that are, that are um, no, it's the sugar that not makes this vegan because like I said, it's coconut milk, coconut condensed milk, vegan butter. That brown sugar and that white sugar. That's what not makes it vegan. I can eat a pie, y'all. It's good. Mm. I like the texture. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and go. But uh, I enjoyed this pie. It's good. Mac and cheese is a tease, you know, but the kids was tearing down on it. And, you know, I know my mac and cheese is good. But anyway, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Peace out. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Mm.